think what I would say to anybody like looking to, you know, affect positive change in their community is, um, I guess, number one, you, you have to, you have to love the community. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to really believe in the community and have a, I, in my mind, have a passion for the community. And then I think you have to look for ways that you can affect change. Now, not everybody can just sort of set out and sort of buy a building, right? Or buy a couple of buildings or buy a street or whatever the case may be. So I think it's important to obviously, or to necessity sometimes sort of work within, you know, how you are able to affect change. But there's so many different things that can be done. Uh, it can be grassroots, uh, it can be partnering with people. Um, but I guess at the end of the day, you have to sort of like figure out how you fit in, figure out where you see things heading to, figure out how you can advance that along. Uh, it might be a big step. It might be a small step. It might be sort of grassroots, like I mentioned. But, you know, as long as you believe in yourself and you believe in the community that you you want to affect change in, then the sky is the limit. And I think you'll be surprised or shocked um, how many like-minded people there are out there in every community. There's a lot of people that want to affect positive change, and whether it's something big or whether it's something small. So I think it's just looking for your, first of all, having the passion. Uh, having having the vision, but then looking for ways that you can fit in, looking for ways that you can uh, partner up with people, looking for ways that you can get involved. It might be a volunteer, it might be uh, business opportunities, it might be different things, but ultimately you got to go for it. You got to, the rubber's got to hit the road. You have to convert from just talking about it, just thinking about it to say, you know what, I'm going to go for it. This is, and it might be starting small, but I'm going to start heading in that direction. I'm going to set out down this path. And you would be amazed at how many opportunities will come your way when you set out down that path. How many people that you didn't even know are paying attention or who are having the same thoughts, who just couldn't do it on their own, but are looking for somebody like you to partner up with um, and you can advance things along together. So, you know, you always want to never stop dreaming, you know, never stop um, with this vision and never stop believing that, you know, why not? my town? Like, why not this community? Um, Why can't it happen here? And, you know, a lot of times you'll get some pushback. I know that I did from sort of old timers. Well, we tried that 20 years ago. It didn't work. Ah, it's never going to work. Well, you know what? If it doesn't work, then I'll, I'll, I'll try something else, you know, and, and more often than not, you know what? It did work or it did work enough to want to do it again and improve on it. So, I mean, uh, I guess that's, um, I wish I had some real words of wisdom, maybe if I had like a little words of wisdom calendar or something, I could refer to it, but I don't, but just like find your role or think up your role, get involved, roll up your sleeve, sleeves, get involved. Don't take no for an answer. Always question. Why not? Like, why not this community? Why can't this be done? Uh, and oftentimes, you know, you'll be able to get things done that you never would have imagined. And then when you get that done, it might open up the next door, which might open up the next door and then off you go. So just look for opportunities, be creative, be energetic, be positive, be optimistic. And, um, you know, I think you'd be surprised how many things come your way.